And we're back with another episode of Co-host Takeover, Rated M for Immaturity Style. Or flip that, switch it around, and you got the right thing. I'm Tim. And no name. It could be both. Uh, honestly, both and, and like... <laughs> You know, one of these days we're going to have a proper intro, and it's going to seem like we're doppelgangers. <laughs> so, we still have more gift to kill. So much to do, so much to see. But what's wrong with taking the back streets? Taking the back streets. That's yeah, so what I've been asking for decades now. <laughs> and no one wants to give you a serious answer. <laughs> but you know you never know if you don't know, I don't know. You never, never shine, shine if you, if don't, you glow. don't glow I thought of um, making the Tuesday intro a 60s super friends voice that says by the power of our autism combined <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I, I'm behind it. <laughs> so, there is an entire ass chamber that an entire past... ass chamber? Yeah, it's an ass chamber. It's like an antechamber. Anything of use? But what is up tonight? <laughs> uh, we're we're just back here with uh uh we're back in Rosie Morn Monastery in the dilapidated temple temple of the sun god. This is an Elden Ring, y'all. It's are got ass chambers. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why. <laughs> It's got ass chambers. No, antechambers. But, I mean, potato, potato. Hey, Sarah. Yeah, we have to say hello to Sarah. Or, rather, say hello to say hello, Sarah. Um, I'm always going to make... Hello, well, say... I'm too, I'm too high for this tongue twister. <laughs> Lockpicker. I was going to try to expand the... What is that, alliteration and... Something, uh, yeah. I just uh, f file it all under wordplay because I never know yeah. what kind of joke I'm making or if it can even be constituted as a joke. <laughs> all right. RDJ would love those ass, love the ass chambers. That's a 30. That's a DC 30? Uh, no, no, no. A 30 is a DC 14. No, it's open. Alright, Paladin of a Seed. Oh, and a potion of mind reading. Okay. I am Vlackett's most loyal servant. She will not abandon me. Okay. At ease, soldier. God damn. Maybe I need more pockets. Um, I do believe the chamber I'm looking for is in a higher level. Our chamber is in another castle. <laughs> Got three hours of sleep last night, but I'm here. Well, we're 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 always glad to have you here. Uh, we're always glad Thanks when people get well in. rest, but those are pipe dreams amongst us folk with shit to do. Alliteration is like J. Jonah Jameson. Stanley to Stanley was obsessed with. Oh yeah, oh yeah. He yeah, loved yeah, yeah. his fucking uh, his whimsical wordplay, especially of the alliterative variety. 
So, no name, what have you watched? What have you uh, played in the last week or so? Um, since I didn't realize for a while. I finally saw Across the Spider Verse. Nice. Um, I thoroughly enjoyed it. Um, but mostly I've just been chugging away on uh, Jedi Survivor. Um, I'm completely separated from you and have no idea where you are. Um, um, you know the upper area of the temple? I started going towards that. Maybe. Like the uh, the upper levels Mastari. of the monastery that are kind of like... What, uh, what did you pick up, Mastari? All broken. Victor Von Doom. Uh, Victor Von Doom always remind me of uh, Jean-Claude Van Damme. <laughs> That's funny. And correct. Oh, there. Wait. Oh. That's just in the back side of that. <sighs> Do you have any ceremonial weapons in your inventory? I will check. Because we Specifically came across... Specifically an item called ceremonial weapon? Yeah, like so ceremonial longsword or great hammer or whatever. No, not in mine and not in... no. Dawnmaster Stockhold. Each of the uh, Dawnmaster for Said. stories that we found, each read a uh, or about a different paladin wielding a different weapon. Mm -hmm. So I'm gonna hazard a guess. Ah, oh, fuck. Okay, so the hammer did not belong to him. If you put the wrong ceremonial weapon on the wrong pedestal. Oh, I'm all the way back at the. Spawn um, point or the That's probably just as well. I think we're missing two weapons. of the weapons. Okay. Where do we find those? That is an excellent idea. I'm hazarding a guess that they're scattered amongst the uh the monastery. Yeah, that would be my guess as well. Okay, I see you. You're just on a much lower level. So, go towards the uh, the waypoint. The what? The the uh or the the Rosy Morn Monastery waypoint. Okay. Uh. Wait, go towards that? Yeah, or just teleport to it, and then I'll meet you there. Yeah, yeah. And then climb up there a minute ago. Little do people know, Stanley also invented Jean Claude Van Damme. Is that? I can't tell. That could be true. That could be a joke. And we'll never know. Because Stanley's dead. <laughs> Has he ever been in any Marvel movies? Let's see, uh, I took a detour on my usual watch list for season two of a show I'd seen ages ago that uh, came out and I just never sat down to watch it, called uh, Shadow and Bone. Uh, it utilizes a lot of uh, mm. Slovenian mm -hmm. and Russian good. folklore. 
and it's pretty freaking cool. Um, <laughs> Should I unlock it? Uh, yes. From like um, the tale of the Nichevoya to uh, the Grisha wizards being these like uh, uh, very kind of like militant wizards. Uh, it's 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 a neat show with a lot of cool ideas that don't always pan out because I'll admit the writing could be better, but it's I'm always down to see new philosophies and uh, kind of mythologies explored within a uh, fantasy setting. Okay. There's a bunch of skeletons around that guardian of faith, so I'm 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 wary of going around it. Yep. I think if I think if we go in the circle. There's the ceremonial battle axe. What the God. Okay, so taking the battle. I thought axe. I ungrouped. Take what? I took the ceremonial battle axe. That might have pissed him off a little bit. Oh, I see. I also walked into its radius. No, Jean Claude Van Damme is a real person. Damn. Yeah, but is that actually his name? It snacks. What just happened? When a guardian of faith, um, like each attack they make, costs a portion of their health relevant to how oh. much damage they did, so they can only I ever see. do sixty damage. I see. I see. My uh, guess is that there was a paladin here. Like, need to find a way forward. Yeah, I have the ceremonial, ceremonial war hammer. Okay. And in the. Axe. There's a ceremonial longsword in the chamber that we bring them to, and then we're missing one more. Heck. Well, here's a closed door. Leave no door unclosed. God, sounds like my parents. Ooh. Oh shit, crumbling wall. You're my wonder wall. Man, I really hope that. Oh. There we go. Wonder wall. Oh, it's to get oh. into this room. <laughs> okay. That's funny. It looks like in that. Ha ha ha. Oh. Here's the window we put the weapons in. Or the weapon placing room. What happens? Warhammer does not go there. Dawn Master Seed? Mm, I don't want to touch that. Oh, it's from the books. Alright, so on either of those two ones, go ahead and try to put the ceremonial weapon you have. His birth name is Jean-Claude Camille Francois von Varenberg. Oh. Huh. That isn't, that isn't something. All right, right, we're missing one more. So it's got to be somewhere, right? I'll just walk around with alt pressed. Right. I just feel like it's somewhere where we... Yeah, it's like gotta be someplace we've already been before. Yeah, we just like missed the door or 
I'm checking the roof, because I think we've checked the lower mm. levels pretty thoroughly. That Did we go into the basement? I saw a That's door where the crash is. Says basement. Okay. Isn't it? Right. Yeah. Could be there. Maybe. Uh, it, it, yeah, it's entirely possible. Once we finish killing the crash, we might come across it. Ah! Was not old. Yeah, so we did explore everything up here originally, huh? Except I think I see a chest. Which one master do we need left? Or do we have left? Uh, I think it's... Uh... Seed? Maybe? It's the mace. I remember that much. Oh. Okay. I'm gonna short rest just because Lazel and Baldist are tore up. Yeah. Do it, kill Wesley Crusher. <laughs> Painted chest. Ooh. Creatures who miss their attack rolls against the wearer make a deck saving throw or take 1d4 radiant. Nice. You can wear medium armor, right? Believe Bam. so. Have a helmet. A helmet. Well, shoot. Where is the helmet? Holy Lance Helm. Huh, nice. No name, did you see that fifth episode of X-Men yet? No, I still haven't. Forgetting to watch that. Have any oops? Have any of these been on skeletons? No, but that doesn't mean they can't be. Right. Also, I think I might have gotten stuck up here, so to avoid the twenty right, right. fall damage, I'm gonna waypoint. Okay. How well did we check that fire wine cellar? That's okay, Tim hasn't even started we watching went. it. Don't rat me out, Sage! Come on! <laughs> uh, I'm coming back to the waypoint, too. I'll come with you. I don't think we were, like, incredibly thorough. I mean, yeah. it's worth a check, because it's a place where there are a lot of things, so it could be under a bunch of barrels or something. Wouldn't it be funny as fuck if a kobold had it? <laughs> we found one of them. Oh, yeah, we didn't loot all of them. What? Why am I closing the door? I clicked through the door. <laughs> Is it on the inventor? 
No. I was hoping it was. Because what's going to be on a random scout now? Yeah. Right? Yeah, I don't think so. Winery records. Okay. What if my dumbass sent it back to the, uh... It's okay, Tim. At least you finished uh, Devil Man. Yeah, I did finish Devil Man. Oh, as, what as... if it's back at camp? Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. Yeah, I'll come check out my shit. Because I did just send a bunch of stuff to camp, too. I really... One? That or maybe I gave it to Carlock. No. Search doesn't turn up anything. No, I sent it. I have it right here. Ah, damn. No name, did you start Devil Man? No, not yet. <laughs> Starion's wearing the Twitch outfit now. There's a Twitch outfit? Yeah, like, for Twitch drops for this show, it's all purple. Ah. I didn't even think to look for Twitch drops. I'm slacking. We got it on our channel. We got it on our... Oh, wow. That's pretty bad. <laughs> you should get Twitch drops if you stream something. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I get chat through having it open on another screen. So I kind of benefit in that way. Um, I gotta sell a bunch of crap. Sorian is so loaded with, like, just pounds and pounds of jewelry. <laughs> I dumped all my magic crap and books in my uh, box, but I still have 66 pounds of something. Yeah, Sorian just has a bunch of shorts, like... When I'm looting with Astarian, I tend to just take all, take all, take all, take all. That's fair. I don't really pay attention as much as I probably should. Especially because a big chunk of the time they have daggers and I can throw daggers. Well, to be fair, those daggers are like four gold each. Uh, 16. Well, four to sell, 16 to buy. Holy shit, was I right? I don't know if it's... Uh, it's probably around there. Depends on your relationship with the... person, I think... Um, I'm gonna send this to Lazel. Gift sword. Sounds good. 
I'm in the ceremonial chamber now. Okay. I'm gonna let my cat out one second. <laughs> Bobo <laughs> promised good. he was gonna stick around, but cats are thieving liars. I want that on the record. True. Yeah, I gotta do a bunch of selling, but, um, you hit. Alright, the cat is safely exhumed ejected. Uh, where are you? I'm in the, that window with Starting the giants. Yeah. Uh, I guess really my question is... How do I get there from here? But I think Go. I just saw the answer. Yeah. Yep. Ah, oh, now I'm someone different. It's like, oh, who am I? <laughs> Last one. Place the mace upon the altar. You have it. Oh, I sent it to you. Oh. I didn't have the weight capacity for it. Uh, Lazelle doesn't oh. have it, and I don't have it. Like, so I send it to Starion? No. Let me pop back. I don't know Who what happened. Who has that mace? Okay. <laughs> Because no, nope, that's not the mace. Sure, you don't have it. Is it possible you sent it to my cash? Uh, I suppose it is possible. Yeah. That is the weirdest thing. It is in my cache. I don't know how it ended up there. <laughs> Did I go into a fugue state while unloading my inventory? It is entirely possible. I mean, especially because you didn't expect it there. Oh, wait, what? In Drathendarian monasteries of this size were usually overseen by dawn I realized I was doing a thing. members of the clergy. The reconsecration of the monastery conducted by dawn master Oh, each one's wielding the weapon on the, the ceremonial. Mm -hmm. the the I feel stupid. And picture has shattered away, even song before the zenith day. Dawn Master Welkin Glory beckons forth the rising sun in Lathan. Yeah. What a boom! Grew up in attacks, deal 1d4 radiance. Nice. Uh, what happens if I break Dawn this? Master. If you take break what? Oh, geez. can I break it? 
Apparently not. Don't waste a step. Now I think we can take the crash elect waypoint. Note to next dawn master. To the next dawn master. I don't think we're gonna make it, but the blood is secure. We closed it off with magic. Only one of our own can take it. If anyone else tries, the walls will fall, and they won't get out of here alive. Should that happen, pray for Rosemore and Monastery, but do not mourn. It's for the best. In pray for Rosemore. Always. Um, mm. but we have this Dawn Master's amulet thing now. Sup, bear fuckers? Hey, how's it going, Ulysses? Yeah. I haven't unlocked that this time. Let's see. Here we go. It's a good thing I'm got a million points. Sixty thousand. There we go. All right, time to skulk about. And then the sage comes in with the bare necessities. I'm glad we got bare necessities as the emote name. Yeah, it's so good. Although, wait, what is going on? Oh, oh too many bare necessities. I gotta take some out. All right, now what? Take the waypoint to crush Elak. Uh, no, have not yet watched Fallout. Although you guys have made it sound so tempting and intriguing. Oh, my bad. <laughs> oh, but you're not in combat. Nah. Should I just throw a smoke powder bomb in the middle of all of them? Sure. I was just gonna shatter. Well, let's one two punch it. Astarian's gonna. I need to get him a bonus action throw. Do you know any way to do that? Um. <clears throat> bonus action throw that's barbarian shit I think that's what I was thinking too which is a weird mix for him so I don't think I'll do it <laughs> yeah Tim tell us about episode 1 I mean wow they all saved their roll Nice. Brutal. Uh, episode one of Fallout. Uh, so, like, the story is not intriguing. I mean, it was, it was decent, but like, the costumes look so fucking cheap. Hmm. Like, this is a really high-budget production, and there's a lot riding on this. Why did they skimp on costumes? The thing that we're looking at yeah, it shouldn't on look the like people, a fan film. Yeah, it shouldn't look like a fan film, no. The VFX look pretty nice. The monsters are... They're cool, but unpolished. Like, you can still tell it's a CGI monster. Like... And to the point where you could have almost thrown any weird looking thing and said this is a radiation monster and I would have been like okay yeah. um um Carlac is still a, or I mean Lazel is still not in the initiative oh 
Which means she might be able to launch some shit into the fight before she's in it, but... Oh, there she is. in Astarian's face. It's funny that I'm holding the shield and they always just... Oh my god. <laughs> I don't like being surrounded like this. Attacks does she have? Oh, pummel strike. Nice. That was what? Five attacks? Something like that. Right. Action surge is a bitch. Once you're uh, level five, that means four attacks, and then okay. some Just weapon engage. attacks are bonus action, and it's like ah. That's actually almost exactly my thoughts on episode one. That's refreshing to hear from somewhere else uh, besides my internal echo chamber. Besides the rock, stupid vault fight scene of course get that jelly roll <laughs> yeah. I mean and from what I <clears throat> don't they allude in the ep first episode that she's like a really good fighter and then we don't really get to see that like at all in any of the fight scenes and it just, like the set design, okay, yeah, that looks great. But that shouldn't be the one thing where I'm able to be like, yeah, that's great. I would, I mean, shit, I would, I would like theoretically for there to be more than just one of that. She doesn't uh, get a single one of the skills she listed throughout the, she doesn't use a single one of the skills she listed. Especially the speech skill. <laughs> yeah. It's kind of infuriating. But at the same time, what are we going to do? Ask her something better from one of the most widely acclaimed properties. Though this follows the trend, uh, like, a lot of people tend to like Bethesda things just in general. Uh, but I believe we're, we're kind of a company of folks that are willing to critique them. Because, like, I'm somebody that played the shit out of Skyrim. I have hundreds of hours in that game. Uh, I made a mod for that game as my senior project. I will be the first person to admit that Todd Howard is a greedy, money-grubbing piece oh, yeah. of shit. And he fucked over that game so hard and lies about what they plan to do for every game to try to get more investors in because, uh, correct me it's if like I'm wrong, more but that's just publicly than traded. More politician style of speaking than, um, being, uh... That's because I get the feeling a lot of people haven't played one or two or New Vegas, so they don't know quite. How, and then that's the thing: some people who played those two are still giving the show a pass. Maybe it's because they never thought they would see it in movie format or or, or like on. In I do think TV that that's show. been a factor. I really do. People being like, "Oh, it's so it's so cool to see it on screen." It gets way more leeway than it would necessarily otherwise mm. 
maybe some people are scared that if they say it's bad, that people, we won't get anything more of it. I mean, the, yeah, no, I do, un, like, I understand people having, being nervous about that. I don't know that it's really an excuse to give something. Holy Oh shit. my god, I, it made me throw <laughs> the rune powder vial. What made you throw it? The, like, I was mind controlled and I threw <gasps> the rune powder vial. What Do we have a save before this? I mean, I'm fine with it. That's funny as hell, but... That's funny as hell, but... The last thing was when we were above ground. We'd okay. have to restart the fight. That's such bull... Okay, do we still have the rune powder keg at least? I'm pretty sure Carlock has that. Yeah, I think that's correct. But... Uh, I'm I... gonna drop a mass healing word as soon as I'm up. If you can get me up. <laughs> Otherwise, the starion can dash a bunch and get me up. No time to waste. I should be able to get you up with, uh, with the gate. Here, yeah, no, Unless the starion can. There was a third person uh, on the afternoon review that straight up said, "I'm I don't care about the writing. I'm excited because it's Fallout." I mean, hey. Yeah. It's just weird to me because the Halo show didn't get that treatment and that's not significantly worse. I think it's 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 just weird. It's like this sort of cognitive dissonance that it's causing within me that it's making me start to doubt what is good and what is bad. But I know that there's other people that don't like it. I respect that opinion, if it's honest, at least. I mean... Oh, no. It's gonna make me cast Fireball? God <laughs> damn. Aha. Uh -huh. Nice. Oh, you still have the psychic friends, though? I d the rune powder vial. Who's I was left? not expecting that. That's wild, yeah. Who's left? Oh, he's right there. Okay. Oh, I'm out of. Uh, can we short rest? Enough sitting around. Let's go hurt someone. Okay, Astarian. Since you asked politely. You know what? Uh, once you're done, you gotta get out of the doorway. Ooh. Oh, I didn't realize we were murdering the younglings right now. Oh, these are just the, uh, the youths, the teenagers, <laughs> or the young adults. <laughs> Thank God we're not killing the chill. I always feel bad when I kill children in video games. I feel like it doesn't happen very often. Uh, they may they'll let you kill the goblin children in this game, and the goblin children will try to fight you. 
<laughs> and I'm like, oh god, did I just really kill goblin children? I'm killing younglings again. Hey, not younglings, youth. Though those uh, youthlings were uh, torturing that Grimishka, so. Oh no. I'm so sorry. I'll never be able to take revenge of this so seriously because youngling sounds like duckling. <laughs> Did you That's kill the why ducklings? you can't take that movie seriously. That's the only reason? Come on now. <laughs> Um, where I know I have. I definitely didn't say only reason, but it's a pain. <laughs> I'll never take it seriously because of the name Dooku. Oh um, what's that? Dooku. Um, you know what I always think about with Star Wars language is George doesn't is that it taught us that George Lucas doesn't know what the word fodder means because Bantha Poodoo he clearly is make, trying to make it sound like a poop joke or at least that's how I always read it when it's a, <laughs> as a kid who's supposed to be relating to the age that was supposed to be relating to Anakin and still found him abrasive. Um, now who didn't get out of the doorway? Bantha Poodoo doesn't make sense if you're going to translate it at Bantha Fodder. No, I know, I realized that. Uh, let me rectify that immediately. <laughs> What the shit? My attack just got interrupted? And I no longer have it. Nothing will stand in my way. Did they dispel me or something? They probably uh counterspelled. Yeah, yeah. Are you able to get Lazel up to them? Probably next turn. There we go. Perfect. Thank you. Um. D I forget, did we ever dip you uh, or a Starian into Gloomstalker for that bonus attack? Not yet. That's happening on the next level. They have so many cool items for a spell made or a spell blade, but there's only like one or two effective builds for it, and I think that involves being like a paladin warlock. Interesting. When I was a kid, <laughs> if you kill me, you'll get too cool all over your hands. Okay. Uh, when I was a kid, I feel like I hated kid characters like Anakin or Wesley Crusher more than I do now as an adult. Uh, yeah, totally. Absolutely. It felt forced and pandering. Like, or like talking. Anakin is talking down to the kids that age. Yeah, they're yeah, patronizing. Yeah. Um, and. I, I felt personally insulted by those characters.
I like that we're killing the guy who uh, made us the custodian of that egg. Right. But still, he serves Vlacketh. So, uh... Yeah. What are you gonna do? Yeah. Why do I not have anything? Where am I? Oh, it's not my turn. Yeah, get the Yankee War magic, uh, interrupts the spell. Ugh, time for some black work. Taking position. Blocked the doorway again. For Astarian. Oh, I have absolutely no spell slots, that's great. Yeah, I might switch out... Uh, well, actually, no, I can't switch out my spellcaster for a marshal. Part of why I liked Evangelion more the second time I watched recently here is it's a depressed 14-year-old existential crisis. When I watched the show at 14, I just thought the main character was being a bitch the whole time. <laughs> yeah, I, when, I, when I watched it as an adult, I definitely thought that Shinji was still being a little bitch, but less so. Like, it was more understandable why he was being a little bitch. I like the historian just crouches and everyone's like, well, where'd he go? Thank you for teleporting closer within hitting range, mage. Right. Should long rest on after this so I can get some healing spells back. That is a good idea. As long as we don't have like a timer or anything like the Yeah, if we spells. long rest, is that gonna like make the gith go away or something? Probably not. I don't think so. Didn't make the goblins go away. Where is the uh this two? He's still being a little bitch. I just was able to see that it was on purpose and the point of the show. <laughs> yeah, Shinji's shitty character, uh, or personality, gets the whole world killed. Love limb of a lecherous lich. Now that, that was the most inventive way I've ever called someone a dick before. Right. I always forget we have spell scrolls. Oh, I have so many spell scrolls. I have like look at how she so fell. many. <laughs> Feet still up there. Alright, um, do we want to long rest in here? Uh, yes. They should have called it Little Bitch Genesis Evangelion. Uh, only uh, in the first loop. Tim, do you know about the other loop? Uh, now, is that the 
first movie or are we talking about the um the 2.0 one because i could be wrong on the loop i i, I probably haven't seen it Looks like not. I like that there's a camp for the crash. <laughs> yeah. But I have movies. I know there's one movie that's like basically the fucking recap movie. And I saw that and or it's like the events of season or the, the, the show summarized. And then I saw another movie after that. That was the next one in the canon. And then I haven't seen any of the rebuilds. But Do you want to go to bed? No. Okay, I'll go to bed. First movie uh, replaces the final two episodes and is the true the ending. Pecks at a crimson splash on his leg. Okay. If you count the recap, there's six. Oh, so there's four movies I haven't seen. Can I give you guidance? Unfortunately, no, but thank God I didn't need it. The looks at you with glistening eyes. With a it's stare, it's not me. He holds out his paw. Revealing yeah, right. talk to it. <laughs> All right, let's go, Androcles. Did you make it? Please tell me I have inspiration. Nope. The wound oh. splits open <gasps> a fresh trick. What have you done? No. God damn no. it. Oh, can I help it? I literally can talk to it. This is why what it's weird that you can't pick because I was the one who talked to it at the camp. Exactly. Oh, that made me sad. <laughs> Yeah. I wasn't trying to torture the baby animal, but that is definitely what I ended uh, up doing. Do we does it still come back and join our camp? I don't know. Cause if it doesn't, we should reload. <laughs> Cause I think it just saved before that, right? Yeah. Here, wait, 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 wait. I have a scroll of animal speaking. Let me send you that. That is a good idea. Moving ahead. What is going on? I had to double reload. Oh, I which see. did that kick you from the? I wonder if it kicked you. No, it didn't. Nope. Yay. Um, animal speaking. Deep. Potion is a potion of animal speaking. I won't re like if a, a character gets killed, fine, whatever. If the owl bear cub gets killed, well, shoot. Wait. I'm sending you the potion of animal speaking. <laughs> animal cruelty show. I sent you potions of animal speaking so you can take that before we go to bed. And I'll use my spell just in case. There we go. Nice.
if I want to go to bed as an orc. Evangelion. Or, I didn't know this was going to be the animal cruelty show. You better hope PETA doesn't hear and come throw oil on the stream. They're gonna. Evangelion also gets close to crossing some lines as far as sexual content is concerned, and knowing it doesn't actually cross the line makes a rewatch easier than the first time through. Whoa. Tell that to Shinji jacking off on Asuka. A, a, a comatose Asuka. That he's supposed to be waking up to save the world. <laughs> Dead dog emotes. Perfect. Yeah. There we go. Not scratch, though. Shit, can you give me guidance? Oh, yeah. When I, like, at, so that I have it while going to bed. Yeah. My there. It only lasts a minute, so if this counts as a minute to switch into this scene... Oh, well, there we go. Persuasion I have. Look. Cut. I can persuade him that it'll be fine. I don't true? think that's how that works. Yeah, I don't either. Do you have survive? Oh. Same as medicine. Yeah, good call. Oh, it's lower because I can talk to animals. As the wound oh, closes, nice. The cub begins testing his weight on the leg. Good. No hurt. Yeah, for once that wasn't Sage's fault. Did you guys know Alex Jones thinks world's dick size average is a third of what it was in the 60s? Well, that just speaks to one person's dick size. And that would be Alex Jones. Teeth, Bigger. Strong. Fight. Win. Kill. No. Strong. Show you. Oh, brilliant. Now we'll never be rid of it. <laughs> Good. Oh yeah, it's supposed to be uncomfortable and disgusting. My point is a lot of other anime would treat that scene as a comedy bit. That is incredibly yeah. true. You do know that, that it, they, they make no uh, point about, like... They definitely make sure that you're aware he's supposed to be feeling great shame. And then she, any other anime would have been just like, Asuka wakes up and she's just like, Shinji slaps him on the head. And they're just like, and he's like, oh, what do I do? Um, whoops. Demon Slayer okay. used comatose romance as a comedy bit. Yeah. Hello. Yeah, they did. You are not food. You are. Oh, I'm not and food. that's like a more recent one too. I think they only started in 2018. Nice here. The caves smell like rotting meat. Goblin cat smells like goblins. <laughs> Finally, Astarian approves to being nice to someone. <laughs> if it's animals, yes. Which is weird. Because he only ate animals for the longest time. People he was fine killing. Yes. Fun. <laughs> Cute. And also going to be very useful someday. Oh. Apparently I found out just how quick or close I can get to the next encounter before it activates. Oh. 
I'll head back. I was still talking to the. These guys rolled really good on initiative. Good for them. Uh, computer crash, be back in a sec. Oh. Ah. Should mind my step. Well, so much for peace. Your dark ability and sensitive to wit. Well, we'll be seeing no name more in a bit, but until then. Uh, Ulysses, Sage, have either of you watched anything interesting or of note in the last week or so? Or just in general? Aside from that torturous show to endure that seems to be Fallout. Sex just break no names computer. It's super hot and doesn't seem to want to turn. Oh, yeah, this game tends to have a problem with uh, like overheating processors. Uh, that that's actually a problem I ran into. Uh, quite. Uh, like I had to get a new processor. And the thing is, as the game goes on, apparently uh, computers uh, have more of a harder time running the game, too. Uh, which is ass, because like I hit the middle of Act 2 and my computer was just having a fit. It was averaging like 35 frames before then, and it was like...
I ain't watched much besides Fallout and Devil Man, and also some of the incredibly boring Chinese three body problem show. I've I've heard that that show has many problems beyond just three. Uh, do you have any input on what some of the problems are with well the three body problem? I'm gonna let it rest and cool for a bit. All right, and if like uh, five or ten minutes go by and we can't get it up, maybe we just have an earlier stream this, uh, or a shorter stream this time, because this will finish up Kresh Elek and the Mountain Pass. Well, that and kind of going and retrieving the uh, the item that we unlocked by putting those uh, ceremonial weapons in place. These gith have some like good food on them. Honeyed ham. Thank you. Also depends on which version you're talking about. Oh, uh, yeah, Tim. We can't perform on this stream if you guys can't get it. <laughs> I am fury. I am death. Make way. <laughs> But yeah, there's Chinese Tencent version of Three Body, boring, uh, which is boring as hell. Then there's Netflix version, which is outright cultural appropriation that mangles the books. Yeesh. That's deeply unfortunate. Better not be cursed. I'm guessing the original material that it's based off of is actually good. Now... Elyka or Alika. This is the albino tiefling that we came across um, back when we first found the Gith when they destroyed that bridge. So she was like, I'm not traveling with you, Law. I don't want to get killed. And then she got killed. Well, probably should have joined the group that had a friendly Gith. large chunk of the show is white dudes banging Chinese chicks despite the original books having no sex scenes. Christ, what the fuck? Uh, the only main character still allowed to be Asian in the Netflix show is a fat bald loser who's a badass det er, detective in the books. Christ. So they just make everyone either white or boring. First book was alright, the second is really good the third book shit the bed hard okay oh that's right we can't get in there with these current four because nobody can pass the strength saving throw to lift the statue <laughs> it's like the avatar airbender movie they race swap some of the book's villains to make sure they're all chinese did, did they just I hate chinese people want to hear about Casador. i don't want to he turned me nearly 200 years ago. I became his spawn. And he became my tormentor. He had me go out into Baldur's Gate to fetch him the most 
Beautiful no name, soul. was this dialogue already given? I think it, it might have been just for you, but I've never talked to Astarian because he doesn't like me. Raziana, Baldur's Gate 3 has triple the word count of Lord of the Rings, and its cutscenes are twice as long a game of, as Game of Thrones. Damn. That is a fun fact. That, that constitutes a fun fact. And the fact that all of the dialogue recorded is, or the vast majority of the dialogue is mo-capped, so you have incredibly emotive characters to accompany the dialogue that we're given, is, I think, a perk in the game's favor. Roland B. <laughs> nice emotes there. I will. The Mind Flayers aren't the only monsters out there. All I'm asking All right, is that you see. keep your eyes open and watch out for anything see, lurking if I in the can shadows. Handle it. What more could I ask? Now, is that oh, I you? have not talked to the Starian ever. Goodbye, Astarian. I think, I think I have had that dialogue with him. Uh, you, will you, can you send me an invite? Wildly, I can't see it even though I was just in there. But yeah, it does seem like Netflix wanted to piss off Chinese audiences. The book is culturally rooted in China and Chinese philosophy really deeply, and the show just says fuck all that. That's wild. That's an absolutely asinine decision. Still don't see her. It's okay, let me open it in my Twitch. Her. Steam menu. I can hear no name again. Yep. So the, that that does work. Um, what I can't do is join the game somehow. Let me just fully restart. That just so that only just sends me a, the invite. It only tells me to launch the game, even if I already have it open. That is weird. Are you able yeah. to, like, right-click and join on my name? No. Double weird. And usually once you send me an invite, it shows up on the, like, in-game stuff. I think it's because it has its own separate launcher. So it can't invite me straight into the game because it invites me to open the launcher. Here he is. Um... But let me try it now. What the heck? Is there an in-game invite? That's what I've been sending you. Perhaps? Oh. Because I get the notification through Steam. Yeah, that's... Uh, let's see. The... We could do, well, you could do direct connect. Which is how I've managed to play locally with people in my house that don't have a legitimate copy of the game. Got multiplayer direct uh, it's also what may be the only major internationally successful pieces of science fiction literature to come out of China, and they get the Game of Thrones guys to do this whitewashed version of it. Hey, another player coming in. Also, the book's plot and sci-fi concepts are massively dumbed down in the show, with terrible special effects somehow outclassed by the cheap-ass Chinese versions of the show. And the show is weirdly horny. I hope you like sex at a funeral. I mean, weirdly horny show tracks for... The Game of Thrones guys. Yeah, so. they put sex in everything because they think it makes it more mature. Because they have no idea what actual mature yeah. things are. They're just right. like, what if we just had this rape scene, like really visceral rape scene? That'll totally like elevate our st our storytelling, right? Especially That's when, at least for the 
like earliest one, the exact the scene in the book was the exact opposite. Thank you for agreeing to. F All right, I'm gonna go try to move that statue with Carlock. Okay. Did you know you can get a Chinese woman to instantly fall in love with you by giving her a copy of To Kill a Mockingbird? That leads to a sex scene instantly. Why To Kill a Mockingbird? Like, what is yeah, the book? Yeah, that's a curious choice. What is the book that it is in the show? Or, I mean, in the original work? Is it like that was just the best cultural analog they could come up with? Cause that's just goofy. 130 million of Marvel's 180 million market shares. Yeah, it's... Cause there's no sex scenes at all in the book version of Three Body. Right. Yeah, there's there's no reason to like... The statue starts to rotate, but it's rusty mechanism jams uh, stuck. I'm on my way. I can give Carlock the guidance. The guidance. There we go. I'm also gonna have her just uh Where is that potion? There it is. <laughs> you don't wanna save that to eat some the statue starts to rotate oh. well, but its rusty mechanism jams stuck. Can she redo the check? With a reloaded save. And that's oh. why you save scum, because entire yeah. things and sections of the game can be locked behind a failed perception check or a failed strength saving throw. Like an entire yeah. dungeon. Yeah, I like I like the idea of in, in theory of it like, oh that's there's stuff that you'll know you won't see this time and you'll see next time. But I don't want to have to play a game thirty times to see everything. That's true. Oh I mean, you know, like it's D D and whatever, but it's like the companion stories will always be the same every time you play it, unless you go wildly different choices with them and don't take all the companions every time. Yeah. Or, like, don't gather all of them. Do you have the enhance ability spell? Uh, it should no. allow you to... Uh, it's It should be a level 2 cleric spell that gives you yeah, the ability Yeah, I just don't to... have it right now. Um, I can command, I can put darkness. The odds of a scroll. What is the DC on the check? It's gotta be something ridiculous if everyone has failed it. I mean, you know, we can try, I'm totally down to try Carlock again. Could be she just rolled bad. Yeah, there, there we, go. we go. What do we? How do we? Okay. Never a dull moment. How does it feel to be old enough to watch your favorite franchises go down in flames? I think they knew the Chinese wouldn't like the inter uh, show, so they intentionally pissed off the Chinese market to drum up media. I could believe it. Let's see what this does. Remarkable that this stayed hidden all this time. Just smash up this fucking ancient temple. Right? I'm um, failing oh. this dispel or this oh, disarm. Let me, let, let, Astarian's got it. Astarian. Well, that's a 23. I'm gonna destroy the crystal. Uh -huh. Watch it. 
get up there? Oh, I see it. Correction, I wouldn't fuck rings of power with some. Fuck oh, rings of power. My wife has a ring of power over me. Ah. Whoops. There. Blood of Lathander. Did we get that crest from? Yeah, the warden, whatever's crest, your dawn master's crest. Yeah. Do you want it? Go for it. Yeah. Or uh, yeah, send it to oh, me. Oh, I sent it to you. Dawn master. So there's actually a specific cutscene for if you make a Starian alone trigger this trap while everyone else is out there. Um, and if you it's bring dawn. him back to life. Yeah, he's like, what the fuck was that? Like, you fucking have me, you leave me to die in some godforsaken temple of the sun? <laughs> Guarded treasure. Good job we got past those protections. No. I believe it. This thing looks powerful. Do you want to see what happens if you uh, trigger this thing without the trap being uh, disarmed? Sure. It is a. Uh, seeing more. I'm assuming. What we'll I did. Just go back to this save after. <laughs> oh yeah. Tim, did you see the above about how the ch an ethnically diverse 1960s Chinese cultural revolution? Uh, let's see. It also takes place in a cultural revolution, so you know, white, uh, many white guys in China at the time, you know. <laughs> That's really ethnic. And then, I think they knew Chinese... Oh, okay, so I did miss that one. Yeah. And the fact that they make it, uh, they go from, like, ethnically diverse to, like... Ornate mace hovers before you, just kind of spits in, in the face of, of everything about it. Light. A fist-sized piece of amber flecked with crimson is set in the handle, emitting a radiance all its own. This mace must be the legendary blood of Lathander. The amber is said to contain the blood of the Morning Lord himself. Um, I think we weren't supposed to touch anything, right? <laughs> you recall all the measures meant to keep you from reaching this place. Taking this mace would surely lead to something quite disastrous. What's the worst that could happen? That's so funny.
Oh. That, that thing. Yeah, it does look like it probably hits hard. Yeah, right. It's China in the sixties. No, there was no one there other than Chinese people. <laughs> Oh, so it becomes a race to get the whole thing out. Or disarm the device. Wow. Seems like a whole ass trap. Uh... Going to get there this turn. Where is it? To oh, disarm? try giving me the Morning Glory's crest. Maybe putting that in there would disarm it. That. Because I don't uh, see any other point of disarmament. Sent to you. Oh, that's actually kind of cool and interesting. I'm guessing that thing just blasts the shit out of you. Looks like a Modron cannon you can get in Planescape Torment. You know, I'm gonna Google a Modron cannon. Oh shit, yeah, that does look like a fucking Modron cannon. Well, that's neat. Um, who wants the the fun hammer? Fun hammer? Yeah. What is the fun hammer? Oh, the uh. The mace. Yeah. I. You can put well, it on uh, your paladin. I don't if you want. think I can use a part. mace, but I could see. Because it is, it is pretty neat to have at least one person equip it. If not, I would say we give it to, like, a Starian or something. I don't think he can use it, but if I can use it, I'll use it. My strength isn't that, is zero, though. It would be more because, uh, like, it emits light within a six meter radius, making undead fiends, uh blind and like uh repelled essentially and it gives you a six level spell cast once per turn or sorry once per long rest it'll do less damage than my current 1d8 versus 1d6 but it does You have multiple abilities that make it worth it. And maybe I'll up my strength next level. Or next ASI. Tim, don't casually talk about my penis like <laughs> The code red emote. Oh, shit! That's yeah. <laughs> Alright, I think we're done with uh, Mountain Pass. So now we are actually moving on to Act 2. Uh, let's right. take the, uh, Trialta Craig's waypoint. Right. Oh, I guess there was, uh, these fuckers out here. These gnolls, uh, these we didn't do this fight? The Ghasts oh, and the oh, Death Shepherds. Oh. 
I thought this was the Knolls. Isn't this this? Oh. What's up? Fucking Frank Reynolds emotes in the chat. What? Absolutely. <laughs> Graziano's in here laying down some shit. I mean, some like good shit. Primo. Oh. <laughs> so much damage. Might have been a little bit of a waste, but. Tactical. Want to do it? So it looks like they have a necrotic veil on them for the first 20 HP yeah. that gives them a bunch of resistances. Might be cast by the Death Shepherd. Hey, <laughs> they're blinded. These on these are all undead, right? Yep. I mean, I would just channel divinity. That's fun. I don't get to do that too often. Mustarian, where are you? Oh, there. I threw a ghast out of different ghast, and now he's on his back, just like. <laughs> Mustarian crits and then runs away. Channel Divinity, turn undead. Oh no! So many saves. Blinded by the light. Right? All of our emotes are in jokes except for this one. Uh -huh. Which one is that? Oh, the oh the Alan Wake one. Alan Wake. <laughs> nice. Did you hear about Sage's spider girlfriend? Yeah, they, they all these ghouls look better than Walter Goggins. <laughs> I've already got two big disasters this year, though, because I wonder what else will come out and be a total shit show. Suicide Squad is the big video game one uh, so far this year. Yeah, it was it was exceptionally bad. Each other back, huh? All right, then I'll just beat one with the other. I love that Carlock. Oh, I thought Carlock just... was damaged. I should have. 
just use a single, sorry. Carlock's WWE build is my favorite build in this entire game. Um, do you, you have the Ring of Flinging on her? Ring of Flinging, Gloves of Kushigo, and Tavern Brawler. Yeah, yeah there's, a, there's one other item I think that helps it. She's got Hill Giant Strength on right now, which gives her a bigger modifier, mm -hmm. and being Thief would give her an additional throw per turn. Oh, yeah. That's what I was thinking of. Well, I'm gonna pick this thing out. Don't burn yourself. What? Why am I not bringing you up? That's what I was trying to do. Blood. No, never mind. Too much to bear. You, okay. common armor. Right. We don't want that. <laughs> Another step forward. The oh, so they have taken Duke Ravenguard to Moonrise Towers. A powerful asset. Just what are their intentions, I wonder? Open up. Gee, they took the um the duke, the most powerful and most influential duke of a city, to Ra Moonrise Tower, where they're putting all these worms and people to mind control them. Geez, I wonder what their plan is. Great. Hopefully, my game is starting to struggle again a little bit mostly right. with moving the camera correctly and like loading what's on screen so the actual gameplay isn't being technically affected that sounds like the processor bottleneck i encountered uh where it would like take forever for certain items to load in like you would walk forward and then it's just like a cliff face is materializing inches from you and you're like oh that's neat this is even like just turning the camera to look left or right. <laughs> I remember his name really isn't Wombat strange. Goggles. <laughs> uh, Ulysses was right. Walton Goggles does sound like a Hobbin name. Suicide Squad was only one week for its player count to fall as far as Venture did in an entire year. Brutal. Shit. Oh, Gandalf. May I inquire if perchance you retain among your traveling companions a man who adheres to the given name of Gale? What about Gale? Mm. Should it be the, the nature of our acquaintance that interests you? You may safely classify Gale and I. He as fucking friends. certainly talks it like him. The nature of your yeah. interlocutor that you desire to drag from the dark and unknown. Oh shit! I shall be glad to aid in your quest for illumination and identify myself as Elminster, Elminster Omar. Now, if this answer satisfies you, let us linger no longer in this limbo of indecision. But settle on your knowledge. I started reading the Elminster books like, ages ago. I enjoyed what I got through. Uh, ever a man of leisure. Would it pain you greatly to assist me along the little voyage I intend to undertake to this aforementioned camp? I mean, I is he actually in Elminster? I think he is at the Elminster. Yeah, that's what I thought. Oh, you're at camp already. Yeah, like he, uh, apparently choosing that first option teleports you right to camp. <laughs> he didn't take me. <laughs> he just left you. Finding himself forced to expose his best pair of boots to so many miles of country road on your behalf. 
I don't understand. Wear worse boots than How shit. So on my behalf? I was bid to spare like that. Uh, yeah, the minister. That's who this wizard uh she sent me, Gail. You know of whom I speak. But so do you. Out with it, Elminster. Please. Young man, has your sojourn away from Waterdeep washed away your decorum as well as your patience? Nigh a ten day I've gone without honest fare, worthy of the name, drank naught, but what the sky and title my th Why? Can't you so call great. lightning and storms, Elminster? You can also conjure food. Me a yeah. Surely you won't begrudge me a mite of rest and repast before I get out with it? <laughs> yes, Gail. Oh, for the love of fine, fine! I'll turn a deaf ear to the clarion calls with which my scorn stomach. I hope I could speak like this fucker when oh, I'm old. Man. The clarion calls of my and hunger. I do digest, after all, a good deal to. He just Elminster still has won't always fucking struck say me it. as a multi-class bard in the books too, because he's so long-winded. Uh, yeah, just like a tale teller. <laughs> it's, the point it's pissing Gail off too. You see, I um. Oh my God! Get out with it, Gail, my boy. I've come to address a most pressing matter. I'll speak as plainly as I can, forswearing the accustomed frills that decorate my speech. It's, that itself is a frill. He was in Baldur's Gate on 1. Of Mistra, yes, we know. And the charge yes, we know. Are hers. We know. Uh, Ulysses pointed out that he was an odious boar that never helped anyone but acts like he does while giving worthless speeches. Yeah. Yeah, he says nothing of worthwhile he says a lot to say nothing is i, yeah. I think elminster distilled and elminster as a young like the the when elminster's young part of the story is fun once he becomes like a powerful wizard it's like okay yeah i'm just he, reading a, about a character on god mode and it's not <laughs> it's yeah. not that exciting that's what happens to a lot of characters that ascend either to some role of divinity or uh like they you gain so much power that you can't do anything. You were able and to I, change I, I the wonder, status quo. I mean, Sage and I have talked about on that Solar Ash stream about like there's a chance Alan Wake becomes unplayable, un like not a playable character if he keeps ascending and becoming more and more powerful. Oh, Mistress yeah. Delicate. And people are going to be real Susan upset Rogers. about it. You know. Despite the fact that no matter what Remedy does, it's a banger. Dwell on that here and now. But even so, you're to be given a chance of redemption. Mistra will consider... Even retroactively, Quantum Break. <laughs> ...what she considers to be forgiveness. Mistra is aware of the misadventures that have befallen you both. She knows of your strife with the absolute, that most insidious of evils. Which one should I do? Mm, to you. He was barely in Baller's Gate 2, which is why I, part of it, uh, why that game was better. Yeah, that one was more about the central band of heroes that are that you uh, end up overcoming the evil with, and the ballists and stuff. And mm -hmm. some of those characters you end up getting to see in this one a hundred years later. Nice. They choose the instruments of their will with great precision. Sometimes the single drops we think we are. Do not realize what waves we are building up to be. <laughs> do not discount yourself. And by the same token, do not discount your enemy. You must know that the absolute is more dangerous. Can you kill him in this? 
possibly conceive. <laughs> it threatens all who live. I bet he's only cut scene. Even those who are undying. <laughs> it threatens. Should I have a Starion try to sneak attack him? We oh, you're in camp. I can't. The very fabric of the universe itself. Apparently you can. Oh. Gale got attack of opportunity. Killed him? No. No, oh. but Sunbeam instantly downed Gale. Jesus Christ. Where's Astarian? Astarian, why aren't you in this fight? What? <laughs> Well, he was telling us that Mistra was just essentially asking Gale to kill himself. So, uh... Oh, no. <laughs> uh, but we can... Uh... I guess see what happens this, and if we don't like it, we can always reload. Yeah, yeah. Halzen, are you going to do anything? Good effort. He's taking up a spot in an initiative, but not doing anything. Now that's something I respect about this. I hope you Who's bring Biden the red Hal down Halsen? here. Uh, no one. He's, uh, greens are NPCs. Okay. So why can't Astarian be in this fight? I wish I knew. Does he just... Oh, oh there, he there we go. He just needed to walk into the circle. Shadowheart and Halzen aren't doing anything, but at least Shadowheart's not breaking initiative. <laughs> Same with Lazel. Yeah, Biden said his uncle got eaten by cannibals like three times in an hour. Wait. Biden's uncle's eaten by cannibals? I mean, he's old enough that I could believe that his uncle was eaten by highwaymen that had gone cannibal, but like. <laughs> yeah, my grandfather in the 1800s, uh, he was chasing, it was being chased by Pinkertons. I mean, that can happen now if you piss off Watsy. <laughs> Ain't that the truth. But by piss off, I mean try to promote their content that they send to you. Find a route. Ooh. Jedi Heart's like, I'll help, I just won't hurt. <laughs> yeah. And Helson's like, no, nah, fuck y'all. He's like, oh, I don't I come do around till Act 2, yeah, exactly. and I really mean it this time. Oh, uh, someone's about to die, also. Who his claim that? was his uncle was in World War II, crashed a plane in New Guinea, and was eaten. Wild. Um, Gale is about to die from this fight by his mentor's hand, because we started the fight. <laughs> I'll, I'll, like, throw him a healing word. Oh, yeah, I'll I put in a I'll put in a good word. Oh no. 
And he claimed they were African because he's racist, even though he also said it happened in New Guinea, which <laughs> isn't in fucking Africa. Oh, my God. Uh, oh, Minster loves casting slow. Right? Which is hilarious, because he's an evocation wizard. Not an abjuration. target constructs? He's a construct. Oh shit, this isn't the real Elminster. Level 20 construct. Holy shit. Dude, he sent a fucking simulacrum to tell us this. Yep, it just melted into snow. Holy shit, that's cool to discover, but also... Uh... You wanna reload and just like do the quest you. for him? What can I do? Oh, you're talking to... Uh, I guess Gale didn't have anything to say about us killing his mentor. Feel my feet. <laughs> that minister is such a bitch he couldn't talk face to face, but I do think it is a really fucking fun detail because wizard simulacrums are something uh, discussed in lore quite a bit. Yeah. And They like... use it to, like, be every place or be a million places at once. Yeah, wizards, once they can do that wizard clone shit, it's like they're the ultimate unkillable adventurer yeah you although i think you have to hit level 20 before your simulacrum can cast its own spells with its destruction but it, is it does mean that when he was saying only you can. like i've been busting my ass to run here po post haste he wasn't himself running mistra has granted me the power to stop the clock, as it were, on the orb's rush to overpower you. Instead, you will be able to unleash its lethal combustion at will. Interesting. This could be help or hindrance. We shall have to see. You must find the heart. His uncle did go missing that the plane crashed in the water and there's no evidence he made it ashore, let alone got eaten. Use yourself as the um, catalyst that will burn it from this world. Dude, just the amount of, like, we have all these 80-year-olds in politics and we have people yeah. just fucking dying in the Senate of old age and in the House. Like, Diane Feinstein, like... People yeah. kept telling her to retire, and then, like, once she couldn't remember anything, she's like, all right, I'll retire. And then she died before she could. Just fucking, we gotta make, like, 80 the limit. Come on. He is not. But it seems that Mistra is. It brings me no pleasure saying this, my friend. But such is... Mistress will. Yours must be the sacrifice that will undo the absolute. And for your sacrifice, you will be redeemed. Fine redeemed. Such is Mistress promise. She'll no longer hold a grudge against him, or his soul, or whatever the fuck. Need only but the charm I was bid. Italian. So does he it still need items? Both charge and charge no. Uh, been committed Gale no longer to needs to eat items. Cool. To you, I commit him to care, Gale himself. I count on you to shepherd him well on this strangest of journeys. Feinstein was voting while not even knowing where she was. Yeah, it's, it's fucking bonkers. Yeah. Also totally um, no This name. makes I... me interested if Elementor shows up if Gale dies. Uh, that... Probably not, because you can resurrect him, but maybe if you leave him dead for like three days or whatever the length is. Huh. Yeah, I wonder. Or some other fortune altogether. 
Like moons make swell and wane the nescient seas, <laughs> so too the sky's chosen gods ordain the tidal fates of mortal days. And yet, a notion born in full of wishes. Full of yeah. wishes he could speak like this. And you know what? Volo is actually, like, blessed by Mistra. Yeah. So, like, Mistra is all about that bardic magic. If you're ever talking to somebody and they're just like, bardic magic is different. Uh -uh -uh. The most powerful bard's god patron is the god of magic, so. Farewell, True. Elminster. I'm glad she chose you. Which, um, we now have, a. Uh, I guess he wants to talk to us. An audience with Elminster is never less than memorable. I'd have hoped to introduce you to him in less dire circumstances. But those are hard to come by these days. <laughs> A wizard doesn't reach Elminster's age without enjoying their home comforts. Those who seek danger over cheese don't tend to live as long. That's, I mean, that's fair. The severity yeah. of her bidding could not also, be total no name. I think Alan Wake 3 uh, will be about Alan ascending to the realm of archetype and definitely yeah. will not be a playable character unless they get extremely creative with his gameplay. I hope they get extremely creative with his gameplay. Yeah, I, I, I think it would be cool it. to have him, like, occasionally cut to him writing and you get to, like, make a story choice one path or the other or something like that. And if you, you know, if you do it wrong, you have to f bow or like figuring out how to balance well, his stories. Problem, all I have to do is find the right place and time, close my Also, eyes, theoretical New Guinean cannibals right probably wouldn't have hurt an American back then. The Japanese well, were trying to kill everyone it. in the Pacific and yeah, pretty so much every other group in the Pacific was like, fuck those guys, we'll and help the guys fighting them. Jesus. So he, he, he was wrong on so many different fucking layers, too. Yeah, I don't understand. Can't Mister just like snap her fingers and kill the absolute or whatever the fuck? I've no doubt she has the power to do so, but as for the permission, Ao would not look kindly on her meddling in mortal affairs. She's but directly in meddling, meddling in works. your mortal affairs, Gail. What do you mean? As for Elminster, he saved the realms more times than legend can recount. But to take on a god is no easy feat, even for him. My orb is the best chance we have. And only I can wield it. Ball. We'll save the I have world. Not gotten Alan Wake 2 yet, but it's uh, it's that that is the next game I'm buying if uh or whenever I buy a game. Did next. you play control yet? I did I did miss it being on sale. Tim, uh, I play have control played yet? control. Okay, I've okay. actually played it twice. Nice. Yeah, I'm currently replaying it. Possibly the most spectacular one ever conceived. But essentially, yes. I'm living on borrowed time in more ways than one. Perhaps, perhaps this is how it must be. The heart of the absolute must be discovered before I can stop its beating. I suppose there is nothing more to be done but find the heart of the absolute. I'm surprised there was no special dialogue there for the fact that you're in a romance with him and he just got sentenced to death. I think there was, uh, like the am I safe around you option. Oh, I missed that. <laughs> what that I could. Alright. Charmed, I'm sure. Now, just to show everyone, you can truly blow Gale up at any time. Like, he now has an ability called Netherese or Blast, triggering the thing in his chest that kills everything around. And, uh, let's just...
Can you bring him back after it? Well... With oh, and Tim, aren't you going back and playing all the other Gravity games first? Where are you with that? I am in the middle of Max Payne 3. It, that's yeah, just game over. Max oh, I see. Suicide is badass. <laughs> yeah, they do make suicide a little badass in this, just because Gale blows himself up and kills a god. Or, in theory. Um, But yeah, I've made it through Max Payne 1 and 2. Uh, I'm in the middle of the third one, and then I think I have, what is it, System Shock? Or... Break. So, uh, system Break. Quantum Break. Quantum Break, there we go. That's a great quick save. It came into me petting the cub. <laughs> Ooh, uh. Hello, Tune. Welcome, welcome. Hey, afternoon, Tune. How's it going? We're doing great here. Uh, we just killed the cheese wizard, uh, and he turned into snow. And now I'm realizing that I've yet to play this wizard at all. <laughs> all right, cheese. Uh, Gale. Oh yeah, Gale's gonna level up. I'm just gonna like leave him here for now. I will level him up between this Wizard stream and the next. Uh, is Mister always a demanding god? We'll find out more because we're moving the story uh, wait. along. Uh, slow down for a second. Gale's granddad. Just stand there talking to whoever that is. <laughs> Was that Gale's granddad? <laughs> hmm. it doesn't ring a bell. But all right. Must have had something important to say to Gail if he came on. I miss day. throwing a potion at you when you're standing in conversation. Good news, I hope. Actually, it turns out Gail's supposed to kill himself. Whoa, now, he's got a. Well, I guess that would explain a little, but. Mistra. <laughs> I mean, this is a lot to take in. I did play American Nightmare. Do? So yeah, I think the rest of Alan Wake, th or sorry, Max Payne 3 and then Quantum Break are my final ones I have to do. Are there any rumors on Alan Wake 2 DLC time yet? <laughs> anyone know so? Me. There's devotion and then there's stupidity. If the god of magic can't handle this without sacrificing Gale, she's no god at all. <sighs> Poor Gale. He must be in bits after hearing that. I'll distract him. Tell him I haven't read a book since secondary school. Watch his face melt <laughs> off. <laughs> Just tell the wizard, yeah, I've never fucking read a book before. And watch him have a meltdown. Me and No Name recently discovered there might be significance to Death Rally than, uh, than we ever thought. Nothing yet, but Sam Lake did post they'd finished doing all the motion capture for yeah, the Yeah, I saw that. Ooh, nice. That's the last thing I hey, saw. Soldier. Glad to see you haven't gone down the tadpole slorping route yet. We still don't know if that visitor has our best interests in mind. It's a free party, but I won't lie, that's uh, concerning. Do they? I'm not sure either of us can say one way or the other. We don't know what the costs might be just yet. Yeah, you deserve the power. You've earned it. Join the dark side, Luke. Right? Oh, oh. a nat one. <laughs> That's actually you really great in want. character. You aren't gonna change my mind. Nothing. I don't want to get more. But she just stands her ground. Shit than I already am. Got it? You'd agree with me if that tadpole hadn't eaten the sensible part of your brain. Now, are we done here? Am I not allowed to Sounds ask up. her again? Ooh. I think I can. Try it. If I walk into the potion of healing on the ground that's like broken on the ground, it heals me. 
That is That's so funny. against. Like I have so many things to say to her. It's not that I want to collect them per se. It's just that if we should happen upon them, I can use them oh, I have a soul to coin. fire up my engine. Even oh yeah, it gives her like a bonus to strength to or use. bonus actions or something. Sometimes. Maybe. Controls two expansions. We only learned right. about them each uh, two weeks before release, and there's going to be a pl uh, PlayStation Showcase in May. Both hey, Controls DLCs were announced during PlayStation shows. <laughs> we were both part of Zariel. In the grand scheme of things, Very I'm inconsequential to... to Zariel. Sure, I've got the engine, but I wasn't even... You really did it, huh? Not worried about adding more Illithid into the mix? Well, what can I say? You look fine, smell fine, and yet, you're more mind flayer than ever. Hope you don't expect me to follow your lead in this. Feeling like an addict waiting for those DLCs. <laughs> I'm not sure either of us can say yeah, right? one way or the other. Same. We don't know what the costs might be just yet. Afternoon tune doing your follow spoiler show tonight. Ooh. That would be pretty frick Why is your check higher than mine? Oh, but I crit. Doesn't <laughs> Doesn't matter. Uh, how do you do that? Always making sense when I least want you to. <sighs> Fine. I'll keep an open mind, all right? I can promise that much. Now, are we done here? All right. All right, I was gonna... Soldier, no room in your party. Gale could do with the rest. His okay, legs are starting to move again. So. What? Well, because he's sat in the party, basically, or in the camp this whole game. Right. I. Okay. I got you. And, like, he took five steps. That's that's plenty for him. Why, thank you. What are all of the things I have on me? Bless. Temp HP, Lathander, Slate, Speak, Bloodless, and Skin Yeah, I forgot I would have a not real eye. Yeah, just uh, uh, look forward to what you have to say about some of those scenes. <laughs> Probably won't be as negative as it. Yeah, uh, Ulysses and Sage definitely went into some of the finer points about where fallout lacks and i've yet to have uh i've yet to see the whole thing but i guess do we have anything left to do i don't think we i have no idea uh you wanna let's just check the log i guess oh uh the fucking suicer bark thing we got the suicer bark but never made the uh the weapon with it everything else we've completed in chapter one cool cool so I'm gonna guess we can go to the what is that Joaquin? No, blighted village. Blighted village. Blighted village. I, uh, yeah, yeah. I got through about the two-thirds mark before I had to do something else, but, uh, that was enough of me, or for me to get the majority of, uh, just how fucking much <laughs> I don't want to watch Fallout 4, but I'm going to. Orcus is at our camp? Uh, 
if anything. He's upset oh, we're yeah. long resting. Wait, why were we long resting? Oh, I thought we're. I don't know why we're long resting. Ah. Uh... It asked me if I wanted to travel to a different region, and suddenly we were at camp and it was night. I... Do we want to sleep, or should we not? Can we go back? I... I... We can sleep without consuming any resources. And then just... But I mean, I would think... that count as a long rest time-wise for the dude Oh, for Barkus Towers? Thankfully, no. That starts okay. once okay. we are... Actually so he's active. just fretting. It's not actually something we have to worry about. Yeah, Bark is, is really barking up the wrong tree. It means a great deal to me. Oh, he's nice to you. He just yeah. yells at me about if anything happens to him, it's your fault. Okay, then we can long rest. That's fine. It's just so weird because it feels like it's being universally praised other than us. Uh, what? Oh, what a fool! Supreme Kithrak, has Vlakith sent you to slay me with your own blade? I've not come to kill you, Lazel. I've come to aid you. Huh. Don't trust him. Skakak kia gith shabeleth. My blade rests. Mother Gith compels you to listen. Speak. My ear is yours. I know you carry the astral prism, Lazar. Within it lies the seed of Vlakith's demise, and I intend to help you bring it to fruition. Vlakith's demise? Skakak! I should run. <laughs> I actually I like this guy now. It. No, he was trying to fucking kill Vlacketh the whole time. Lazel right. had him pegged the first time she met him. She's like, this guy's a fucking traitor. Yeah. I'm asking for your help. And your trust. I've heard word from Kresh Yulik. You are infected. Yet the one in the prism has chosen you. Protects you prism, with their power. Huh? The prism oh, yeah. alone has the power to end Blackith's tyranny. I've sought their freedom for eons. When the prism went missing, I feared the worst. Instead, you've granted the opportunity I've so long awaited. All that remains is the key that unchains them. And I've found someone who I believe can provide it. Bring the prism to Baldur's Gate. I'll be waiting in a tap room called Shares's Caress. That is where we decide the fate of my people. Lazel. Together we will break our chains and be Vlacketh slaves no longer. I am no slave, just still Kithrak. The Undying Queen is my freedom. <laughs> it is she who will purify me and she who will ascend me. Lies, Didn't she already Lazel, turn on you once? Every last one, there is no Lizzo. purification, no yeah. ascension. The Zaith Isk does not purify, it extracts memory and kills the infected. Nor does the Lich Queen glorify the Ascended. She feeds on most all of them to grow her power and pursue godhood. Madness. You flood me with this... this heresy. I... Big ass sword. I will hear no more of it. Oh, God damn it! Magnetized dislikes afternoon tunes life. review is gonna get on YouTube because her words, her I mean that's the thing about reviews like it's it's always subjective to the reviewee's uh, the point opinion. of view and yeah. not everyone is going to have the same point of view and make me regret it. if someone downvotes because they don't agree that's I mean I, I get that that's how people tend to vote on things 
with their gut and their feelings, but that's foolish. You don't if if you're if you're going to a review expecting people to agree with you, that's just going to the internet to find people to agree with you. If you're actually looking for an honest review, the Queen's warriors hunt you. The Quanith will sound you out when you come near their portals. Hear its cry and prepare for battle, or slip away. I should go. Like its gaze pierced. No, so we're not gonna get jumped by Gith anymore. She That's neat. Me, Lord, well, and I can't afford her mistress. Is that the steward? Keep the astral prism close. Now to Baldur's Gate. Now to Baldur's Gate. Is that the next step? Uh, no. We still uh, uh what Lazel wants? Oh, yeah, Lazel wants to talk. Be. We, uh, that's Act 3. Uh, we have all of Act okay, 2, which I is figured. essentially the journey to Baldur's Gate. Yeah. Only in Vlakith may we find light. These were the first words I ever read on Tirsu's slate, but they are no mere aphorism. They are law. They are creed. The root from which Yes, because you were being brainwashed. <laughs> forsake one protocol and forsake Vlakith. Forsake Vlakith. And be the blood and meat which sates her dragon. If Voss speaks true, if ascension is a lie, if tadpole purification is a fairy tale, then I have not sinned against Flakith. She has sinned against me. Ascension is a young Gith Yankee's greatest honor. Long ago, the Gaith enslaved my people. They Just wait till someone says something negative about a Zelda game, then it's pistols at dawn. <laughs> Mother Gith took a hammer to our bonds. From the day of our hatching, young Gith have one purpose. Yeah, Breath of the Wild was too much. To it was too much. Unfocused. Then, we speak the right of ascension. And I'm glad people and liked it. I'm glad it was a game that people enjoyed. It just was not for me. We are honored with an eternal home in the astral, celebrated for our victory. We are ascended, or so I believed. I'd never thought Vlakith a tyrant, or me as a vassal, a warrior, a champion, a destroyer. But if Voss is right, and Vlakith consumes the ascended to gain power, then I am no destroyer. I am mere livestock. Bread to be harvested and devoured. Every Gith Yankee is a slave with a singular purpose. Not to cull the Gaith, not to prevent their grand design, but to raise Vlakith to true God There's so many plot threads going you on You just in this argued game. that you weren't a slave. I don't know. I can't know. And that drives me mad. At first, I thought them an illithid deception had... But the dream figure is real. Voss believes they are the seed of Vlakith's demise and the agent of Githyanki freedom. And I believe he may be right. Then, when the Kithraki come for me, and come they will, they would feed me to their dragons, and I would deserve no better. Yeah, we'll meet Kithrak Voss at Charesse's caress. In All right, now we can fucking sleep. My God, I forgot. There's so much dialogue in this game. It is so much. This is the difference between the Fallout show and the Breath of the Wild. I don't think the Breath of the Wild is actively bad, just not what I wanted. And I think yeah. the Fallout show is bad on some fundamental technical levels. If it wasn't for the Fallout branding, it would have been ignored at best. Speaking of sleep, I might be ready to. Speaking go of sleep, to sleep, that, yeah, we are actually wow, ten oh six. How the time flies when you're talking to Elminster. <laughs> I know All exactly right. how the time flies when you're talking to Elminster. It flies with every single extraneous word he utters. You're just like, oh god, the word count on this essay. <laughs> All right, who are we rating today?
The writing feels very much like The Walking Dead show 10 seasons in. Oof. Yeesh. Uh, let's see. Are we doing... I'm raised. Banispheres? Uh, or, let's see. Is Afternoon Tune going yet? Ah, oh, but he's starting shortly. Ah, oh, well. Uh, is there anyone else we can raid? Banny all the way. All right, everybody. Uh, thank you all for coming in and talking to the cheese wizard simulacrum with us. Uh, thank you to everyone watching the VOD. And thank you for everyone who didn't stop by. We didn't need you anyway. Uh, <laughs> and to anybody uh, reviewing these VODs after not watching them. I mean, we did need you all along. So thank you for coming to us. Uh, <laughs> now, <laughs> Vanny has recently actually become an irl neighbor to us oh well that cool. is pretty freaking cool more streamer neighbors all right nice. well uh thanks again to everyone for showing up i've been tim and no name happy 420 to everyone who celebrates tomorrow <laughs> yeah <laughs> i forgot about that god all right i'm a terrible stoner now uh everyone get the fuck <laughs> out of here show vanny some love and happy 420Ah, uh, and Afternoon Tune just went live. Yeah, I was wondering. It's usually right around that time that we're getting off that. That's, that goes live.